Alrighty, let's play some full first. There is music, but I turned it off. It doesn't quite add as much. I think I would just keep that off for now. Cool to see all of that. I'm going to bring that actually a bit lower here. It's almost like you want to keep going now that I've added this, where you almost want to hang on to this, where then it starts to swing. It has, you know, it's like one of those. And that drone goes, whoa, goes down with it. And maybe because of the weight, oh, it would be really cool, is then it's, it flies down. Right? The character is then down here, holding on to it. And as the character lands, then he or it goes like that. The drone is here and then -bam! smacks it onto the ground. That makes sense. So you go forward, jump off, hang on to it. The weight of that robot drags it all down, lands wherever around here or whatever. So it, it flies, or is it? Yeah, yeah. It flies. So it's going to have like a whoa down. And as it lands, the guy just goes and smacks it down. That'd be cool. Now you're asking, can you use IK for a run? It's just tricky, to be honest. I mean, I definitely animate a lot with IK arms and it's just the pain. When it comes to something like that, I would personally switch to FK so you can just do the nice arcs to see how we can make it work with the chest. I think the chest is now a bit too far. Looking this way, it's really looking this way. I would reduce that maybe up to, maybe to here-ish. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then that way you can get those nice arcs with FK arms. There's something that feels also odd because you're doing a full run into a jump, but the thing is the legs are always somewhat bent. Except here on that passing, it actually feels a bit overextended, but... It never quite feels like it's booking it with a a bit more of a lean forward and then slight extension, you know, there on that on that leg and then push off, meaning that there will be a bigger extension there. Then again here, you have a you know bigger run stretches. This is kind of okay to stop here because it goes down for a push off, but then don't forget you want a full extension on push offs when and when you jump. And then you can have that. And then I will probably find a way to get like one or like one, like this leg going forward and back. Just get a bit of a, a movement in there. So it's not just bam, holding a pose and that's it. Also, this just makes it a bit weak looking, just kind of that. So I look at just stronger arm poses and a little bit of business in the air. And then here again, I would land straight. Have a straight leg. It can be like that. And then you got the compression in there. And then again, on those arms, like on something like this, you want arms to be really forward. And right now, they're kind of not doing much in here. They're kind of stuck there. So really get, get them swinging. And that feels a bit magical. Like if you look at the root, boop, it suddenly pops forward for this. And you would have to really go up, down, push off really so we can so we can make that work it just feels like it's a magical lift off unless you can have some rocket pack coming off so you would have to what's the speed here yeah you might have to go low definitely lower for a bigger push off and then you want that leg higher and extensions. It's really that leg drives it up, that full extension push off with that anticipation before to really sell this. This still feels slightly odd just because the posing and I'm not quite buying the swing because if you're doing something like that, you're going to have to have a bit of a arm up swing around its chest. Like what is motivating that jump spin here? Like the spin comes in magically. So it has to be really that chest and arms that gets it going and i think that just that's just odds i will keep those legs in bring it only in those arms for that spin it just seems a bit weird there i know you want to have a swing into this but it's just the pose is not super appealing i think it be, me might be better off to just jump tuck those legs in swing with those arms and then on that turn bring that leg out for this 
but you might have to consider making that jump only up to here. So you just take everything, the platform and this guy over here. So it's not so high and far. I, just, I don't quite buy the physics of that jump going this far and high. It feels a bit simple in how it just comes back with those careful those arm poses or you want so a nicer line of action within those arms but something a bit more complex but i would wait for now like the main thing is this it kind of works it tells the story comes in a bit fast i would probably just have this standing here maybe starting to take a step but it just kind of really shoots into frame because if it's that fast and getting hit here all would happen that the momentum would continue and this guy would be actually here it would continue to go forward down with a sudden backwards rotation from here it wouldn't just go back it would continue so if you wanted to land here i would just have it stand here then it gets just pushed back and speaking of which i think that impact might affect the, that character just a bit more it's a bit magical how that leg comes in and then nothing else happens. There's a little bit of a stop there, but even that lands after that height and everything, it would have a bigger uh, impact, bigger um, lowering and compression. And then it can come back up. Something you can do to tie this in a bit more is that A, I will probably start with this um, the drone up here and this rotation comes down this rotation so there's a bit of a, a change versus just kind of hanging out there and through that time maybe it even shoots a bit so you understand there's a danger and that's why it has to run away and it could be a bigger explosion maybe back there and then you can see kind of still going there and then we might pan over a bit more so that this character is about here so that we lose the drone you know, all that happens a bit more screen left. And then when it comes back, the drone is back. But even here, so it's not so straight. Have a little bit of up and a little bit of side roll. And then with that ending, uh, that you could potentially do. Like the hanging on, that would be kind of cool. The physics of that and then landing and slamming it down. But why don't you let me know if that's something you want to do. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.